past this lab. Good to go. Yes, sir. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Beth Tyler, I'm the city auditor. We're here for the Board of Estimate Enforcement meeting. Uh, the date is Tuesday, July 18, 1 34 p.m. Uh, joining us, we have our city treasurer, Barry Sanfar, our uh, chief financial What's your title? Uh, CFM, chief financial manager. Chief financial manager, Joel Stetson, and the Common Council President, Corey Ellis. We'll go ahead and start our meeting. We'll start with budget transfers for 2023. Our first request is from the budget department seeking to transfer $500 from the vital stats uh, contractor services line into city clerk's contractor services line. And this is covering the city clerk's portion of the citywide future expenses. Second request is from budget uh, seeking to transfer a total of $3,650 uh, from total from roughly seven, eight GL accounts into a single contract and services line. This is to cover citywide printer expenses. Mm -hmm. Next request from DGS seeking to transfer $2,500 from supplies and materials into office equipment. This is to cover uh, office equipment purchase. Next request from police seeking to transfer $1,000 from the other equipment line to supplies and materials. And this is to correct that purchase order and use the appropriate GL income. Next request is also from police uh, seeking to transfer $45,000 from their office equipment line. Uh, 30000 of it is going to contract service, services, 10000 is going to other equipment, and the remaining 5000 is going into supplies and materials. Discover expenses related to uh, building and selling uh, drugs. So, yeah. Someone? No. Yeah. No. Good. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Next one from police seeking to transfer nine hundred and thirteen dollars from supplies and materials. And go into their furniture and fixtures account to repair glass panels at the South Station and uh, purchase chairs. And our last budget transfer request from the Water Department uh, seeking to transfer $420,000 vehicle accounts going to single chemicals account. Uh, this is to replenish the chemicals account and cover increased costs of chemicals necessary for water quality. Before I move over to increase appropriations, any questions or concerns? And we were joined by uh, Common Council members. All right, so we have a single increase appropriation. In, uh, this is from the fire department. They were awarded the P1 grant to help with critical port infrastructure from terrorism and against maritime domain awareness, including port wide maritime security risk management, and uh, host of other uh, things. So we're going to see a initial increase in the other expense line for fifteen thousand dollars, and then on the revenue line for the other uh, FEMA grant, we're going to see an increase uh, to the same dollar amount, the fifteen thousand dollars. Joel, do you have any background that you care to share regarding this particular transaction? The FEMA one, uh, you know, there's more verse in that transfer than I agree. If, if I remember correctly. Uh, the grant is pretty much fully expended. I think that maybe what twelve hundred dollars left. Um, so there, there, there should be one last invoice that comes in. Now, uh, take out the hundred dollars. All right, and then we have four resolutions uh, that were passed by the county council last night. Uh, first resolution 78-7223-R, a resolution of the Common Council supporting capitalized all the incorporation and its application to uh, New York State Homes and the renewal over state systems. Uh, second resolution 79-7223-R, resolution of the Common Council supporting the city of Albany and its application to New York State uh, Office of Parks, Right and Historic Preservation Environmental Protection Fund. State assistance in plugging the Washington Park playground improvements design plan. Resolution number 8072 23R, resolution of the county council supporting the downtown Albany Business Improvement District 
and its applications to New York State Home Improvement and Renewal for State Assistance, and funding the North Pearl Street Apartment Area Project. Lastly, uh, resolution number 817223R, a resolution of the Common Council supporting the City of Albany and its application to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation for State Assistance and funding the Citywide Comprehensive Environment Action Plan. We have two council members. Who does? Do you guys care to expand on those? No. Uh, everyone present, I uh, uh, vote yes on the names required for the application process. I Excellent. So we don't have any other questions. Is there a motion to move that agenda? Moved by Jerry Sergeant Fire, seconded by Corey Allen. Is there a motion to adopt the agenda? Vote to say aye. Aye. So opposed, say nay. Motion carries. The agenda has been approved. We have a motion to adjourn the meeting. Uh, do we have a second? Aye. Uh, second by Corey Allen. Uh, Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The meeting has been adjourned. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but the title is just being spelled out there. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Go back to my cold balls. It's next time. Take your jacket off when you walk out the street. I'm told it's good advice. So, I'm more than advice. It's got a range. It's so good advice. It's got a range. All right, good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. I'd like to call order the meeting for the Board of Contract and Supply. Today, President of Bill Stetson, um, budget from the Budget Department, Gary Shankar, the City Treasurer, Marisa from the Kingdom Corporation Council, and the Ohio City Engineer. First, the Department of Planning and Development has offered resolved that the Secretary be authorized and directed to advertise the bid the following. Lucid Albany, a West Hill alleyway revitalization project, bids to be received during the next uh, Board of Contract and Supply meeting held August 20, August 22nd, uh, 2023 at 1.30 p.m. Uh, um, bid deposits equals to 5% is required. Mr. Milano has offered the following resolve that the bid for the following year bidder be accepted and the contract awarded to them for it at, at the price of quarter of the price specified in their proposal, they being the lowest qualified bidder and theirs being the lowest qualified bidder that the mayor's authorized to sign a contract on behalf of the city. This project was the upper Madison Avenue and sidewalk improvement space two in the amount of $563,613. The following resolution was offered on behalf of Albany Water Board resolved that the Albany Water Board approves change order forward to the 2022 lead service replacement project contract with Peter Luigi and Rose Contracting for the amount of $33,526.71. This will decrease the contract amount to the new value of $1,665,159.43. There's no change to the contract completion date of October 31st, 2022. 2020, should be 2020. Um, motion to accept the agenda. So moved. Second. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn the agenda. So moved. All right, I'll second. <laughs> all right, thank you, everyone. That concludes the meeting. Thanks. Thank you. Record done. Record done. Uh, you are kidding.